Maybe you have seen my video on the level 140, maybe you haven't. In any case, this is my method for the level 142 with a mix of U1, U2 photons. Let's go ahead and get started. It does matter where you enter from in this target. I like to enter on the bottom right. This is just the method that I've been using. It's the one that works the best for me. Now, in this particular target, every single area where there's a darker patch of water, where there's a substructure underneath the water, there's actually a building on top of the water, so that's probably the best target hit in terms of this aspect. But you still don't know where the corrosive turrets are versus the regular turrets, the missile turrets. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to engage here. I'm going to move towards this first area right here. There's a missile turret right about here on this slant tile. There are corrosive turrets around it, so I need to make sure to keep moving. As you saw, I was able to surface in range of the missile turret, but out of range of all the corrosive turrets. The reason you need to keep moving is if you surface and they surface in front of you and there's a corrosive turret right there and you're in range of it, it's going to shoot at you. So you're going to want to make sure you stay moving if corrosive turrets are near and they're about to surface. If you can outrange them, that works way better, but you can also avoid the damage if you do or if you are moving when they are surfaced and you're close to them. Otherwise, just stay at max range, and that works out pretty well here. These things are fairly forgiving if you do mess up and you are moving, but if you're stopped, they can hurt a little bit more. Now, then you're going to move directly towards this land platform right here. There's just a regular building here. It doesn't matter too much. And go ahead and kill the titanium thing. Then you're going to move off on the land tile right here on the left, and there is one missile turret and one regular corrosive turret. Make sure you stay to the stop of that, top of that one so you can kill the missile turret without killing the corrosive one. Next up, you have a stonefish to kill. You can go ahead and move forward, take that thing out, and that shouldn't do too much damage to you. One, maybe two shots, which may miss, may hit. It depends on your evade. Now, I'm going to go towards the ships on the left side here, and a few things will pop up. I'm going to want to make sure, again, you have to pretend every single turret that's going to be there is corrosive. So you want to make sure you stay moving, because the time you forget, with the time, it is actually a corrosive turret. Now, a few things are stunned here. The ghost crawler is going to unstun first. Make sure you stay moving. As you can see, it did shoot at me, but it looks like I've taken zero damage still because I have some ships that haven't taken damage. If you stay moving against the ghost crawler, you will do perfectly fine. At this point, you can see that I'm moving towards it a little bit, but it shouldn't matter as I'm staying, you know, in a straight path, and I'm, you know, that's what you're talking about. There were a few other ships that came in, and those I dealt with fairly easily because I did stun them. That blue ring you see, I believe, is that stun radius. If they do get close there, they do get stunned. The idea is to keep moving against the ghost crawler, as I'm trying to show you here, and avoid turning when it is in range of you and is firing at you. As you can see, I still have the ships 2, 3, 4. I've taken a tiny bit of damage, so maybe I could drive a little bit better, but if I finish this with a very low corrosive damage, I will be happy. Now this next platform, you're going to want to make sure you go for the titanium generator first, this side right there, because there is a missile turret right on that side. Go ahead, take that one down, and then the missile turret in the center of the target as well. There's a few things there you do want to take down pretty quickly if possible. They do hurt your photon, your flagship, which they happen to shoot at first quite a bit there. So if you do have something with more evade, go ahead and have it be that one. Then you can go ahead and kill the stonefish, make sure you stay well away from this platform. This platform contains a corrosive turret, so make sure you stay moving because when it does surface, it's going to shoot at you as soon as it does, so make sure you are staying moving in a straight line. Right now, it surfaces and misses a few times when it shoots. Another couple platforms here, try and keep moving because there's a double corrosive turret and then stun the thing. Go ahead, go for the death scythe here and shoot that, take that one down pretty quickly, and then immediately on to the next two death, death scythe turrets. Take those things down and then you can deal with the ships towards the end of the target here just to make sure you're not shooting with too many things at once i'm going to go ahead and loop in the stonefish kill that and keep moving in a straight line at this point everything else is dead other than this ghost crawler and these stonefish so i can just keep moving here and that should take care of that pretty well it is generally better to engage the ghost crawler in open water but you can make it a little bit harder for yourself and go through these land tiles just as i said make sure you keep moving Stay moving in a straight line when the ghost crawler is about to fire at you. That way, all its damage will miss and go well behind you. At least if you have high enough combat speed, I happen to have Hyper 30. I've heard people say that they are able to have success with this method with just using Guidance Scrammer 3 instead. That's most of the target done here. Let's see what, what we're missing. Just one of these corrosive turrets, which is not a threat now that it is surfaced. Now, 
Ideally, everything would be popped up in this target. You would be able to use your AMPAC UAV to chain to the different or outrange rather the missile turrets and get their accuracy deep up before you engage them. Ideally, you could engage the titanium generators, shoot those things down so the turrets did less damage, so you would take overall less penetrative damage. Damage taking is the vast majority penetrative, as you can see, very similar to a level 140 target. If you drive correctly, it should be all penetrative. There we go, and damage taken is 23 minutes, which is pretty much all on one ship. Generally speaking, it's about 18 minutes on that first ship, and maybe one or two minutes on each of the other four ships combined. If you do have a ship with high evade, high survival, it should probably be the flagship, which is the hardest one to get up there. Here's the build I'm using. It is U1 across two ships and U2 on two on three of them, so it is pretty low upgrade level. Maybe I'll get some tokens and get that increased. The first four ships are a damage build that are all the same. The fifth ship is a missile defense system build. I probably would tweak a few things going forward, but that's a different topic for a different time. I would go for a guidance scrammer three and no more than two missile defense system three on the entire fleet. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you have Battle Pirates questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll do my best to get them answered. And as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.